Welcome to the United States of Death Metal. We're going to take you through some states where the earliest old school and underground death metal rarities came from. We're going to start over here on the west coast with Washington, Oregon, and California. And you can see in my collection here, I've laid it out on the floor and organized everything into U.S. state and then across the United States so we can see which states produced death metal. Over here we've got some bands from Washington, a few bands from Oregon, and a whole boatload of a California scene. California death metal was a major stronghold. Next we're going to move over just a bit west to that. Um, let's see, we had west coast here, now we're going to move east to Utah and Arizona, Colorado, I couldn't find any bands from Montana, Idaho, Nevada, or even New Mexico. So let's take a look at that output. Definitely some bands from Utah, handful of bands from Colorado and Arizona, and another stronghold in Texas, real strong death metal in that area. In the middle of the United States, we had Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Let's take a look at this region. There's some pockets here, pretty much. A couple bands from Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas even. Next to Texas is Louisiana, and a little bit to the east of that is Alabama. Then we move up to kind of middle America, Tennessee and Kentucky. A few bands from that area. And then next to my collection, we're gonna go to Midwest. Midwest means right here this area of the United States, right in the middle of the country pretty much, right along Lake Michigan. If you were near Lake Michigan, there was a lot of death metal in this area. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Ohio, Indiana, and Michigan. Those states right around the lake here was a real strong point from Milwaukee to Chicago for death metal. Let's take a look. Minnesota, Wisconsin bands, Illinois, and I suppose a lot of that is Chicago alone. And then we've got bands from Indiana right here and bands from Ohio. So pretty strong scene there. Also all the way up to Michigan. Next we're going to take a look at East Coast from Maine way up here. New York, Massachusetts. Looks like this. Two bands from Maine. A very strong scene in New York. Massachusetts had some bands, Connecticut and Rhode Island. Then we move over to Pennsylvania, New Jersey, very strong scene for such a small state. Maryland, uh, Delaware, Virginia, and then heading south, South Carolina and Georgia. So that means right through here, here's South Carolina, here's Georgia, and then we leave with Florida. So here's all my Florida death metal. So let's take a look at <clears throat> what we learned here. Uh, most populous states are California, Texas, and New York for sure. So they had certainly bands, but there was also just a strong kind of camaraderie and strong healthy scenes in that. There was also a real strong scene in the Midwest. So anything Wisconsin, Illinois, Michigan, Ohio, Indiana should not be underrated. Really strong scene from that area. And then East Coast produced tons of great stuff. Particularly New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. Wow. Just a huge lot. And then we leave off with Florida. Now Florida, a populous state anyway, but you know there was something special going on with Florida when we see that many bands from one state one U.S. state. So thanks for watching the United States of Death Metal.